four, three, two, one, go. Hey guys, Ranchin here, bringing all stock of commentary. This is going to be the MST Group 10 Losers match played between Mind and Pusan. Both of them having lost their respective first rounds, and now one of them gets eliminated, and one of them gets a chance to redeem themselves. This is going to be on Heartbreak Bridge. We're going to have Mind at the 3 o'clock position as the red turn. That means at the 9 o'clock position, we're going to have the purple, or is that pink, per, uh, Protoss. And really, really interesting. I uh, really got to find it. Mind kind of just getting a build, total build order lost last time around. Kind of his fault, kind of not his fault, you know. You, ex you really expect a Zerg to go 12 hatch on a four player map, and you generally do expect him to go some, you know, decide to go economics just so they can tackle, go for that three hatch build quicker and tackle their Protoss or Terran opponents with heavy economy, so that would just end up losing. And fortunately, Pusan just fell to some very nice heads up play against Jongbi, so he might at this point end up not do you know not getting them so he got into the osl round of 32 with just beautiful play beating 4gg and kanada two great turns we're going to see whether he follows up with great anti-turn play here against mind this is neither player's greatest matchup putin's just about 50 percent against Terran, and mine's just about 51 percent against protoss and on this map it's pretty equal races Let's see whether Pusan moves in with a probe, very early probe scope. We're going to see whether he decides to steal the gas. He's waiting for it. There's a barracks being put down, but the probe decides to be no, just harass the SCV, not going to steal the gas. We're going to see whether he's actually waiting for opportunity to do so, or decide, just completely deciding not to. He's been harassed a little bit by SCV. He's going to run around, is going to take the gas, which is waiting for the proper resources to do so, and just going to continue running to run around. Trying to take out the SCV that's building the barracks, although mine does have his own SCV protecting, so it's most likely not going to happen. Two SCVs in the SCV is even switching and building the Raxis, so Pusan at the very least is going to get the full-on scout. Did sound out very early, very early probe scout to make sure he can uh, get that gas deal, get that harassment going, make sure there's not going to be any, make sure that the tech is completely delayed and that mine's build order is a bit out of whack. I find myself kind of feel kind of ironic when I said last game the mind is a very smart player and then he does something like what he did. Oh, sending his probe in for a little bit of safety just into that simulator. Just for safety purposes, on the opposite side, SCV scout just coming inside, gonna spot the assimilator, second pylon alongside that gateway. I assume put Pusan, I'm not seeing it, don't think he's building his all, I think he's just gonna wait, get his core up, then gonna get some Dragoons out. He's gonna be pretty safe in that, there are gonna be some Marines out, but I think he's, he should feel pretty safe in that he will be able to defend. There's a one single Marine, the second Marine gonna be coming out just to try to take out the assimilator, still only halfway down, the probe's still running around, just making sure there's no trouble coming up, Sunday score just no coming down. And I still do not see any Zalot, so there's going to be a Dragoon coming up as soon as the Submariner's Core comes down. Most likely going to see a second gateway being put down by then, as uh, followed by either he's going to go for Observatory after uh, at that point, or decide to expand right away. He is going to be feeling a little bit safe, because there's uh, the factory is going to be quite late here, so the Vultures are not going to be coming in too soon. So Pusa might feel safe enough to expand. Does have a Zealot actually on the field. I completely missed that Zealot running across the map. Apologize about that, but is that one probe and that's one Zealot. They're not going to be able to run inside to harass. There is our four Marines on the field at this point uh, already. There are going to be more soon. No Goon Range. There we go. Goon Range coming up just now. So there's going to be two gate Goon Range. And the SCV, meanwhile, for mine, is going to spot that out completely. One. Mine going to move out with an SCV and four Marines going to push that Zealot away. And not, uh, those are not going to be able to actually manage to do anything. So Pusa on the very least try to put on some pressure. Now actually going to move the probe to the temple in the upper right hand position. I think he just snuck that out without being spotted at all. Just going to mine out those minerals just to give himself an opening space. Bunker meanwhile not being put down by mine just to make sure that he's not heavily harassed in case he decided to put down a base. He does have SCV that's pretty ready just to put down ex uh, a kind of expansion because there's one factor coming up and I honestly believe mine feels that he needs to because he had so many minerals invested he was actually forced to build a lot of marines. The six marines pushing out against the one zealot. There's meanwhile two dragoons going to kill off that SCV scout. We're going to see whether mine actually decides to try to go some heavier economy. Going to get that, yeah, going to get that command center out even though his tech was delayed. He did have a lot of marines. going to push out, fly away with his racks. He's going to attempt to get that 
attempt to get that expansion out there on the opposite side. Pusan is putting his second Nexus out after his second gateway. I assume we're going to be seeing his Robo up fairly soon. Followed up with Observer play. Although I really don't think mine's going to be able to accomplish much. Oh, Pusan just denied getting those minerals out there. CV just running around trying to spot whether Pusan decided to take a th quick third expo. Marines moving out there are going to take care of that Zealot pretty quickly. Zealot desperately tries to run to safety. Not going to happen. SV meanwhile is going to spot that Pusan did not go for a quick third. So he's going to stick on to stick to his two bases. Just going to spot the position and start mining the minerals just before it dies. Meanwhile, probe of Pusan going to be chased out. Mine just setting himself up position, putting down his second racks eBay, just getting himself ready for possible river drops or river drops on pawn position. Robo up coming up on the opposite side. We're probably going to see the followed up by an observatory just in case. I really don't think any sort of vulture harassment would be possible for mine at this point unless he decides to go for a starport soon because there are a lot of Dragoons out in the field. They're, they're kind of map control. Map control is on Pusan's side at this point. Actually, moving out with a Dragoon. Uh, just attacking one single marine and actually not going to kill it. one going to just take pot shots at that one single mark. Of course, the problem with Dragoons is they take four shots to kill those marines, so it takes forever. Meanwhile, just also Milster are going to be added at the fourth position. Engineering Bay float around and actually two machine shops coming up. So he's going to come very heavy on the upgrade. Just, just going to skip the vulture harass and go out heavy on the tanks. Um, uh, quite possibly even get siege mode first. Had that one single tank out. Going to try to at least push these Dragoons away. These three Dragoons are indeed going to push away. Don't want to push them too close to the bunker. So, so those marines don't come out. If you have five marines and a tank, with providing get you got decent micro, you really can push some dragoons back. Just because how long dragoons take to kill marines. So technically speaking, marines are a decent counter to dragoons. They might not beat them in range, but they can still harass them pretty badly. Now actually, five dragoons pushing in on mine's base. They're definitely gonna try to take out this bunker. Almost picking off the tank. But Tank does have Siege at this point, actually going to be repaired there, so the Dragoons are not going to be able to push in enough. Uh, robotics facility before Observers, actually. So he's not going to get a, try to get another scout inside of Mine's base. Just going to try to get that Reaver harassment done uh, before anything else. Should have his first shot all on the way. Mind actually decided to block off fully, going to put in that additional supply depot. He's going to be going to be forced to float away that Rax once he wants to move out for shuttle on the way, so he's going to be a reaver up. And there are turrets over the field for mine, so if he manages to uh, push this back, he's going to be in a pretty good position, putting an armory as we speak. I uh, have not seen academies for him yet, so he does not have scan at this point, going for upgrades for his tanks before anything else. But yeah, if he manages to push some to do his mission, I'm actually not sure if he built any reaver or not, just deciding to move out with the shuttle almost like, actually, never mind. He did put a zealot in there, so he might also be raiding there for bombs. He's going to need those for bombs most... Most definitely second refinery coming up for mine, the upset, and Pusan is at this point going to take his third. You have to stay, try to stay a base ahead of the Terrans if at all possible. And if he manages to take that third base and hold it with that pylon wall, possibly in a can or two alongside trying to get some upgrades up and try to hold that alongside if Pusan can get that harassment done, take out at least half a dozen SCVs not I without losing a shuttle or a reaver. I mean, even half a dozen up to a dozen will be great somewhere between the numbers. Then he can just pull back, uh, just not pressure anymore, just stick on what he has. And that shuttle is going to get spotted as it attempts to go in. There are turrets all over the place and does not have speed, so he's not going to get too much accomplished. The Reaver is going to fart it out. Oh, he's going to kill a vulture tank. You know, he's going to drop down. This is going to be a zealot in that, so it is going to get dropped. Just to, he's got two zealots, in fact. Going to force the tank to unsiege, and it is going to get several probe skills. Going to get another scarab out before it dies. Oh, beautiful scarab there. Getting a lot of SCV kills there. Did I say probe kills earlier? I meant SCV kills. Meanwhile, now he's just going to get another pot shots on that shuttle. Going to see who actually drops that. Reaver, no, there was a siege tank there in Rage, so he's not going to try to attempt another. Didn't have any more Zealot bombs to take the